So as a lot of you know, with the help from Clint from Clint's Reptiles, we won the 2023 Snake Discovery Enclosure Build-Off. Well, Emily just called me and told me to stop by to collect my prize, and then she maniacally laughed. I'm not sure what that's all about. So I'm back here again at Snake Discovery. I'm gonna head in and see what Emily and Ed have for my prize. I'm pretty excited about this. Let's go check this out. All right, let's go in the back and see Emily. Emily! Alrighty. So, you have you have a, like a prize or something for me? You're gonna, first we have things to do first and then I'll show you your prize. Okay, so you need help? Uh, yeah, we need oh. help. We're putting you to work here today. Fantastic. Yeah, so we have a whole checklist of items that we have marked specifically for you to do today. Um, so let's get started. Um, I, I, I can help out, yeah. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. Um, what do you, what do you... Uh, well, this, uh, you're gonna have to feed some animals here, because we have a lot of hungry mouths at Snake Discovery, of course, so here, take these. Uh, we have some I, snakes to feed. I'm really allergic to rodents, actually. They're all written down here. Let's uh, see, we're gonna okay. start with the Eastern Indigo. Oh, yeah, okay, I can feed you Eastern Indigos. Where's the Eastern Indigo? Out in the zoo. Let's do it. Wow, I thought I was just coming to get, like, a plaque or something. I didn't realize I got to like feed all the... We're down a person today. Someone called in sick, so this is actually perfect timing. I would be happy to help oh. out. Um, seriously, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but I am really allergic to two things, chlorine and rodents. And well, let me tell you something, like uh, feeding day around my place, so many boogers, so many boogers. But here... Too late now. We are doing this. Okay. Hello, Indigo. This is Indigo Montoya, the Indigo. Oh, he's in shed. So he's he... in shed, he might not eat. Yeah. Well, we can try it. Okay, let's you try it. Hands or tongues? Uh, hands. Okay. I'm going. Can I go in? Yep, absolutely. All right, I'm going in to try to feed an Eastern Indigo snake that is in shed. Um, I don't really feel it. Okay, come on, buddy. You can't see it, but you know, you can probably smell it. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, buddy. Eat while you're in shed. Does he eat while he's in shed? Because my guys don't. He's on and off, so you can drop feed him, like lay it on his log or something, and we can check back later if he doesn't take it from you. All right, I'm gonna put this right here, buddy. So when you're when you're good and ready, there's a little treat for you right there. All right, well that wasn't too bad. Um, I just I, I don't really fit in here. I'm gonna try to get out. You can do it. Um, you can squeeze out. You're too tall for the exhibit. I know. I'm going to try to get out of here. Hang here on. Here you go. Leg One first. Foot out. Yep. Wait. I got it. I got it. Hang on. Hang on. I got it. Oh, oh, my oh no. Your glasses. My glasses. image. Oh, look at this. I got mud all over the carpet behind the cash register here. I think it's still on my boots. There we go. Um, You got some. Oh, you okay. want me to. Yeah, you're cleaning this up. <sighs> you make a mess, you clean it. That's, <sighs> that's the rule here at Snake Discovery. <laughs> I don't even do this in my own house. All right, Emily, I did a half-assed job. It's good enough for today. We'll let it slide because it's your first day here. Okay, all right. All right, so we will come back and see if Indigo Montoya has eaten. Perfect. Uh, what's next? Is it time for my prize or? Well, you came on the perfect day as well because it's rodent cleaning day. Ro we have to clean the rat bins. I just said I'm allergic to rodents. We, you know, you're not allergic if you're enjoying the job. So I don't think you'll actually be allergic. I'm not gonna enjoy this. Okay, so into the rodent room we go. Oh. So in here, we have our rat breeding racks, which are all the deeper bins here. And we have all in the smaller bins, that's our mouse breeding rack. And these are our overstock racks. So today, it's the rats that need some cleaning. So that's gonna be these guys. Our rats here all have some sort of enrichment. They have bedding. Um, they, looks like they chewed up their chew toy, so we're gonna have to replace that. Um, but basically what we have to do is dump out the bedding and replace it with fresh stuff. The, the, this is my prize? No, the prize is coming later, oh, don't worry. Oh. We have to do this first. So I have to do this to get my prize? Yes. Okay. So uh, well, I guess we'll just start with this one. Hi, hi guys. Oh, you have, you have little babies in there. Okay, so look at this. We've got little babies. We're just gonna put the babies in there. Hi, moms. Nope, stay away from the babies. I'm from the county. I'm coming to take your babies away. Oh, these guys are still um, attached to mom. That's all right. You can pick her up and see if they kind of come with gently. Oh, they, there you go. They came with. Yeah. All right, so put those in there. Yeah. What do I do with moms? Uh, you can pick them up by the very base of their tail and uh, set them in here with their babies. All right, go into baby. Oh, 
so many boogers, Emily. Perfect. So there many you boogers. Go. Oh, so many poops. And that's why we're here. Okay. You so forgot the, a baby. Oh, I forgot a baby. Yeah. Oh. This little guy. I almost threw the baby out with the bathwater there. So take this. Yep. And empty it in there. Perfect. I'm a professional something. All right, and then I gotta take. It was this fresh shake. Yep. Fresh All right. pine. Fresh pine. Perfect. Do 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 do. Might need one more scoop here. One more scoop. Oh, I got, oh, I. Oh, it's. Do you still have that vacuum? All right, All right, and then. Next, we have to give them their hide and enrichment back. Here's the hide. I'm going to put the hide right here, and I'm just going to make a little, little footpath into the little house there. Maybe make some bushes over here. We're not here. doing an enclosure build off for the rat bin here today, Dave. I like your uh, excitement, though. O overachievement, that's, that's good. All right, well, we got to hurry this up because I can hardly breathe. Oh, what's okay. this? Enrichment. Things en to chew on. Enrichment things to chew for the rats. Yes. Not me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you want to chew on this millet stick, you could too. I don't know how good it's going to taste. I don't know. I skipped breakfast. The rats like it. Okay, and then the All right, moms. mamas. Oh, look, we've got little babies still attached. Here, let's go. Wee! <laughs> All right. Well, I'm allergic. You did great. That was perfect. Thank you. I'm allergic, though, so Thank I'm going to leave. We only have, like, 83 more bins to do, so have fun. Uh... All right, 83 bins of rats cleaned. <coughs> oh, Emily? Yeah? Oh, what's next? Uh, next we Do I get my prize now? Uh, after we give Sharon, our sulcata so tortoise, a bath. She needs that today. I got a tortoise a bath? Yes. Okay, that sounds like fun. Let's do that. Yeah, that's easier. You can do that. All right, so what do we do? Perfect. Uh, we're just going to give her a few inches of lukewarm water, and uh -huh. then we're going to wheel it out to her enclosure because she's very heavy. It's easier to wheel the bath to her than it is to carry her back here. And then we're going to put her in. Now, is it Luke water or Han Solo water? Uh, oh, Han Solo. Han Solo warm yes. water. Yes. Got it. Let's do it. All right, so what do you, this like little handle right there? Yep. Whoa, there whoa, 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 whoa. I bet everybody watching right now now has to pee because of all the water sounds. Try not to pee. <laughs> Try not to pee. Hold it in, guys. Listen to that nice warm water flow. Try not to pee. Do you have to pee? No, I'm good. Oh, you're good. Do you? Um, Actually, yeah. Can you, no, I do. Can you I take do. this? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we have relieved ourselves. We have a bath water ready. Where is the sulcata? Sulcata's in the zoo. Do you want to start wheeling it out? Let's do it. Go find her. I'm going to go find the sulcata. Here we go. Let's go through the zoo and find the sulcata. Come with me. All right, so. That's Rex right there. And if you guys remember the first video that I ever filmed here, I mistakenly called Rex a guy, and I got like 1,500 comments yelling at me, telling me that Rex was a girl. So this is Rex, Rex is a girl. All right, let's go find that sulcata. Ah, I have found the sulcata. That, you're a really small sulcata. Oh wait. Sulcata and a leopard tortoise. All right, I found the sulcata, but I forgot the sulcata's bath. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of important. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just learning, so that's yeah. okay. Hey, Emily. Yes. Did you know that uh, Rex is a girl? Oh, is she? Yeah. I didn't know, because you said she was a boy in that one video. Yeah, 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 so I just explained that to these guys. Boy. Yeah, Rex is a girl. All right, so we have got the bath. We have got the sulcata. Get in the bath, go. Get, is that, how, is that how you do it? Usually, yeah. Get come in on. the bath. Come here, hop in your bath. No, she's not listening today. That means you have to pick her up and move her. All right, fine. One, two, eight. Oh, okay, oh. Here you go. I, I think I just heard something pop. Okay. You are kind of breaking the rules Here since tortoise is only in there. So oh. you were a tortoise for a second. I was a tortoise for a second. Here we go. It's like at the fair when the pig jumps off the diving board and falls into the little thing of water. We are not doing that with the tortoise. Don't <laughs> worry. Get your finger off that thumbs down button. I'm not doing it. And very gently in the nice warm bath. There we go. There you go. Oh, flips your back. And then do we just kind of do this? Yep. And then we'll let her sit for about 20 minutes and we'll put her back afterwards. There we go. Let's get all the dusties off of you. And I'll give you a little back rub. You're going to give her a pedicure too while you're at it? Do we have to? I mean, she would like it. It is her pedicure day. We can both get them. Perfect. All right, so we let her sit for how long? 
20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yes. All right, so, so within that 20 minutes, I can have my prize? Uh, after we do some more cleaning. <sighs> it's coming, it's coming. We have, to, we have to clean some more first. All right, let's do this. All right, so what's next on my list? Next is feeding the diurnal insectivores. So we have Aki monitors, Texas spiny lizards, chameleon, false chameleons, and the keel lizards. Ooh, let's do it. Let's get some crickets. Wee! All right, so this is obviously the food station. Yes. And we're cutting up some... Snails. Snails. Yes. This is the natural diet for the false chameleons. So we're going to give them some snails today. Well, this is fun, actually. So now that uh, we've cut up all this reptile food, I just want to make a shameless plug for my brand new channel, Dave Kaufman Eats the World. It's a food channel. If you like food and want to see me travel around and eat food, uh, check it out right there. Shameless plug for my food channel right there. No? All right, and then back out into the zoo. Yep. Here, you can actually have my keys. Ooh. Because you'll need It's about that. time you give me keys to this place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the rec store key won't help in this case here. Look at that, you got like 8,500 keys. Know, How like do you a, keep track? I'm like a janitor. Look at this. Yeah, there's a lot of keys. Okay, so. First up, the false chameleons. Look at that dude right there. And that dude at right there. They're all giving you the look. And that dude right there. Well, they know it's food time. Yeah, they do. They're so de judgmental. They just give you that look. They like, do. I mean, they're. They know they're better than you. It's like that egocentric, indifferent look. Yeah, it really is. It's like, I am a lizard, you are a human. I am 10 times better than you. Now feed me. Now feed me. All right, so we just take a little piece like this. Yep, maybe a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Yep, there like you go, that. that'll work. That'll work, yep. right there. Here you go, buddy boy. Oh, look at that right away. Hold, hey, yeah. no, you give me my little conk. Oh, good, 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 good. oh, he got it. There you are, monsieur. Uh, let me wipe off your chin there. We get ready for your hallway for thin mint coming up next. All right, and how about you? Would you like some of this disgusting snail? Oh, smell how smelly and stinky it is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, she has to think about it. Um, anytime now, there, girl. Um. She's I, watching her figure. She really wants to make sure it's going to be That's right. Prom, lizard prom is coming up. <laughs> she wants to, oh, but she's like... Screw the prom, I want my snail. I'm just gonna leave that right there. Let me just uh, get you a little, there you go, there you go, okay. And you are just so super ready for this, aren't you? So super ready, come on. Arr, 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 arr. There, oh, oh, wait, oh. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what we call trickle down economics. Oh, perfect. When they fall from the rich down to the downtrodden, down there in the forest floor. That would be our, I guess the isopods would be the poor in that, this case. That's right. They get the leftovers. Now. That's right. Exploit the worker isopods. How about you? That's Would you like? That's right. Here, let me get that a little bit better so you can grab that. Oh, he does not want the snails. He's like, I only want Emily to feed me. Well, you try. Well, let's, yeah, see here, let's, try. let's see if is that's that, in fact that the, the case? case. Yep, that was it. Oh. <laughs> He's so spoiled. That lizard is an anti Davite. All right, let's check in on Tortoise. You doing okay there, buddy? Hey, uh, Tortoise, did you know that Rex is a girl? So we're coming back here again. Look at how clean Emily got that floor. Yeah, wow. nice to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. so. We'll make up for it by making you feed crickets to some lizards. Okay. So here's a scoop. Here's a scoop. Yep, and then I would recommend shaking some cardboard to loosen some crickets and then scooping them up. And then scooping them up. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is so easy. There's no way I can screw this up. Oh, there you go. Hey, hang on. Hey, 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 hey. All right, how many did I get? Uh, I would fill the base about that high, like like that. So in a guy's right, in again. a guy's world, eight eight inches. Eight inches. Yeah, that'll work. All right, good. Sure, good enough. All right, so now we have to add some calcium powder to them. So. Calcium powder. Yep. Tap 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 tap. Yep. Perfect. And tap. You are getting your worms and, and stuff from Rainbow Mealworms, right? We actually right? do, yeah. Right, good, mealworms, good. waxworms, giant mealworms, stuff Oh, like nice. That. Yeah. But you use Rainbow Mealworms because if you do, that's job security for me. Oh, perfect. Yes, that's why we use Rainbow Mealworms. And now, here's a word from Rainbow Mealworms. Rainbow Mealworms is not only a proud sponsor of this channel, they are the premier source for all your reptile food needs. They grow all of their quality insects in-house, and I use them exclusively for all my insect-eating reptiles. So place your order today at rainbowmealworms.net or click the link in the description below.
And then we are at the Amazon milk frog, which is also known as heel belly lizards. Yeah, we're getting a new sign. This is a, it used to be our milk frog exhibit, but then Luke from Luke's Bug Adventures brought us some heel lizards at the oh, milk lab. Oh, yeah. So we turned it into, since we didn't have Amazon milk frogs anymore, we turned it into a keel belly exhibit. Did the Amazon milk frog spoil? They did of old age, yeah. They were, uh, they were pretty old, but, but they were really fun while we had them. But you know what? It works. A lot of people don't know that they're called milk frogs because they spoil easily. Yeah, they don't they don't um, age very well. Yeah, yeah, they? yeah. <laughs> All right, killed. Look at these guys. How cool are these? Oh, they're ready. Oh, they're ready. All right, so there for these, we are using the smaller ones. Crickets, out. There you go. You're you free, be... crickets. Run. Wow. Oh, look at that. that He's so... like acrobatic. Yeah, wow. And the crickets aren't as free as they thought they were. We like to play the cricket version of Hunger Games here. Yeah, absolutely. And the lizards always win. They always do. Yes. The smart crickets sneak into Rex's enclosure because they know Rex won't go after them. You know, they actually do. Did, did, did you know Rex is a... Never mind. Let's just move on. <laughs> All right. Next up, we are going to feed this here chameleon. She's on a little bit of a diet, so... Um, well, yeah, she's, she's, she's looking... Yeah, she's one of our rescues that now lives in our zoo. Were the people that uh, had him before feeding her every hour on the hour? Just about, yeah, yeah, yeah she's a little bit chunky. Yeah. All right, so we have some dubia roaches with some calcium powder, and we have tongs, so just take the tongs, oh. grab a dubia. We don't need no tongs. Oh, perfect, or you Look can just this. go in with your hands. Go in with my hands. Come on, buddy. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh yes, there goes the top. Ow, 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 ow. All right, I'm gonna try that one more time. Let's just do it with these fingers now. All right, here we go. All right, buddy, let's try this one more time. And presto, that's how we do it. There we go. Um, you got a little bit of my blood around your mouth there. Just, there you go, you got it, you got it. Okay, and now we get to one. feed the Ackies. Yes. Back attack. Since we have a couple extra dubias, do you just want to give these to them first? There you go. There's one for you. What about for you there, buddy? Oh, you got an albino roach. Look at that. Oh, hey. Have the albino roach. And then, there you go. Now that one's het for albino. Oh, it is? Yes, That's because how that the works. albino roach is now mixing with his DNA. Wow, so he's part albino roach. That's how genetics work. You, you are what you eat, they say. Are you so right? That makes sense to me. Right? Hi, Mom. Hi, yeah. Um, did you know Rex is a girl? <laughs> what? Come over and mow, mow the lawn? Mom, we're getting... We have a really bad connection. I'll have to call you back. Whew. Okay, so what's next is we have to give some animals medication. So we're going back into the back room here, past the invert wall, into the back... Hey. All right, so it looks like we're doing some stuff to Roshi. Who's Roshi? Roshi is a boa constrictor that was surrendered with an, uh, a wound on his nose. So we have to clean off the old medication and reapply new stuff. Let's do it. Let's meet the boa. Roshi. Hi, Yoshi. Oh, look at your nose. Yeah. Yeah, he came in look. with a pretty bad wound on his nose. Oh, you poor little dude. So what we have to do is take this betadine on the paper towel Wipe off the old medication from yesterday. Okay, come here. Oh, this is gonna sting. This is gonna sting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, you poor little dude. It's okay, you're doing great. All right, and then here's silver cream. We use this to heal a lot of wounds. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit of silver cream. There you go. Perfect. There we go. And then just kind of rub it on without okay. going into his nose. Let's get those out of your nostrils. There we go, just like that. There. And that's all there is to it. Good job, Roshi. Yeah, you can let go of my arm now. <laughs> this is what's next. Deep clean the perimeter enclosures, clean all poop, change bedding, and answer that phone. Snake Discovery, this is Dave Kaufman. Yes. No, not Dave Kaufman, not Ad Adam Wickens. Dave, yeah. It looks like who is our retic over here had kind of a bad shed last night. Oh yeah. It seems like once they get a certain size or reach a certain age, they just kind of explode with their shed. Yeah, they do. And retics do this in the wild too. They, they shed in pieces. So we're gonna have to help her out a little bit. All right, I'm going in with Sushi. Hi, Sushi. How are you, sweetheart? So we have some PPE here. Yeah, PPE being a plastic bin. These work wonderfully as little shields. 
She's a good snake, but she is still a wild animal. Right. So we want to play it safe. Shields up. Here we go. All so right. So let's remove this shed. This is so cathartic and satisfying to peel off pieces of shed. I love doing this with my retics. And it just comes off just like a sock. And all you need to do is just, you don't need to like grab. You just kind of rub and it'll come right off just like a sock. But a lot of people do think that a snake that sheds in pieces is an unhealthy snake and that is not at all true for retics. Even in the wild, they will shed in chunks like this. Look at that iridescence. That fresh paint, I just love it. And this girl is about 25 years old. So she's getting up there in age. She is getting up there in age. And look at that, that shed just comes off like a big sock right here. And then what do we do? Just go throw it at Ed? Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Oh. It's, we turn it into confetti and whenever we're celebrating, we just throw it in the air and then hey, reach shed falls. I like it. But I also like the idea of throwing it at Ed. Let's go slap this right in Ed's face. Or maybe throw it in the garbage. He seems busy back there. <laughs> yeah. Let's go check to see what he's doing back there. Okay. Hey, um, Ed, are you, yeah. are, you, are you busy? Are you busy working? I mean, kind of. I just wanted to let you know that Rex is a girl. You learned that finally? Yeah, 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 Rex oh, is okay. a girl. All right, I'll let All you get right. back to it. All right, sounds good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, Dave, I think I'm going to leave you to this to kind of finish her up. And uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes. I'll oh. just close in here. All right, no worries. <laughs> Thanks for your help today. Hey, my pleasure. It was nice knowing you. When I'm done with this, I'll come see what my prize was. Emily? Uh, Emily? Uh, Emily? All right, she'll be back. Okay, buddy, come on. Let's get this dried skin off of you. I bet that just itches, doesn't it? I bet that just itches. You know, every time a snake is in shed, I always sit there and think, think about when you have like a really bad sunburn and your skin kind of itches and peels like that. I always think that that's what a snake feels when they're in shed like this. So we're just going to do this. We're gonna get all this skin off of you. Emily's going to come back and let me out any minute. There we go. There we go, buddy. All right, so I got all that shed off of Sushi. I haven't seen Ed, Emily, or anybody in a while. They locked this enclosure. I can't get out. Emily, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done in here. Emily! Emily! All right, another fun day at work. Oh, yeah, fun. I got to train in Dave on his first day at Snake Discovery. How'd that go? He, he did all right. He did all right. I had some cleaning up to do afterwards, but that's fine. Right. I, I feel like we're forgetting something, though. Nah, I think we're good. You think? Yeah. All right, let's all right. go home. Yeah, let's go home. I'm ready to go home. Emily, Ed, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, Ed. <laughs> <laughs>